Morning guys, how you doing? Hope your uh, 2020 is going good so far this year. Uh, we're back here at the uh, Campfires and Gunpowder Ranch and uh, we're going to do a little bit of shooting and uh, test out a new gun that just came out so that's always fun, right? Uh, so most of you guys are aware, so this is the end of January, most of you guys are aware the SHOT Show was just last week, so there was some really cool stuff that came out. One of them being this. Do you know what that is? Check it out. That is the new Glock 44 in 22 caliber. So we're going to be testing that out. I just got a few of these in my shop, so this is the first one I'm shooting. We're going to see how it works. We're going to try some different ammo. Uh, we're going to start out with some high velocity, a couple of those, move down to some standard velocity, and then uh, I'm going to try out some subsonic uh, CCIs. Uh, there's already a few barrels aftermarket out there for sale that are uh, threaded, so I'm assuming a bunch of guys are going to try these with a suppressor. So let me show you what we got. Okay, here you go. So, you've got the uh, standard Glock kit here. It has the nice hard case, lock, comes with two mags, and this is the new, uh, I guess you'd say the Gen 5 edition, so it's got the extra back straps that come with it. Now, this is the same physical size as a Glock 19 or Glock 23 uh, barrel length and width and grip length uh, the difference being the physical weight so if you look here at it you see this little this little seam here on the bottom of the slide okay so that's metal uh, top half of the slide is polymer so this gun is super light, so it's not going to be the same physical weight as a Glock 19 or a 23, but same size. So the other interesting thing, which I didn't know about this when I had them shipped in, uh, they have uh, adjustable rear sight on there, so that's pretty cool. This is going to be a, a pretty nice target gun. So it comes furnished with two 10 rail magazines. And uh, you can see here it's got the little button to help load it, one on, on each side. So what I did was I put it down here, push that down, makes it easy. You can drop 10 cartridges right in there. So here's what we're shooting. Remington Golden Bullets. And those are, uh, those are round nose. I've got some hollow point. Winchester Super X got some stinger hollow points Then I'm going to go down to the uh, CCI standard velocity Lead round nose. That's one of my favorite ammos to shoot and then uh, here's the uh, Subsonics we're going to try these are CCI hollow point 1050 feet per second. So this should be interesting to see how it works. My initial reaction is uh I think it's going to work good. Some 22s are finicky because, you know, 22 ammo is all different velocities and bullet types and stuff. Uh, the one thing I will say that I noticed with this initially, uh, the uh, slide is pretty hard to pull back. Not hard, but uh, harder than I thought. So it's got a pretty stiff spring in there. So uh, if you're going to use it for kids or uh, women with weaker hands, they may have... Uh, uh, trouble uh, pulling the slide back, but I'll find out. Let's shoot it and uh, see how it does. Hey guys, <clears throat> I was out splitting wood this morning and I realized there's a couple things I forgot to talk about. So before we go back out to shooting and the range, I'm going to show you here what uh, I wanted to tell you. Uh, one thing I forgot with this uh, 
new Glock 44 here. The mag release is reversible, so you can take that out, flip it around to the other side. So that gives you an option if you're a, a lefty. And also the slide release is ambidextrous, so that's another great feature with this pistol. Uh, the um, the trigger, uh, I'm not going to mention too much into the statistics of the pull weight and all that stuff. I'll just say that the uh, <clears throat> the trigger pull is pretty much the same as any other Glock. I personally tend to like that. I've shot them so long and so much that I, I uh, got used to it and I like it. So if you don't like that, you're not going to like this trigger, but there's options out there. So um there's that um <clears throat> so in shooting i'll give you the statistics of what i actually shot i shot a total of 150 rounds 80 remington golden bullets 20 winchester super x hollow points 20 cci standard velocity and oh 20 cci uh stingers and 10 CCI subsonics. So, <clears throat> out of all 150 rounds, we only had uh, three malfunctions. I had two stove pipes, and I had one failure of the slide to go fully into the battery, and I just pushed that in with my thumb. Those three failures were with CCI standard velocity, and uh, that only works out to be 2%. So, uh, Let's go back out to the range and uh, we'll see how I like it. Stay tuned. Guys, I love this gun. I'm giving this two thumbs up, baby. Okay, so I shot approximately, let's see. 150 rounds through this. Uh, I shot 20 of the CCI standard velocities. I had two stove pipes. I had no stove pipes or malfunctions with the CCI subsonics. Everything else worked flawlessly. So I love this gun. So this is going to be this is going to be a top seller for this year. I'm sure of it. You're, you guys are going to love this thing. That's all I got to say. You guys have a great day. Catch you next time.